Welcome to African Youth Invention, the AYI Training Center. I'm Emery Lukumbo. I will be discussing about Microsoft Word 2019 on video 5 and class 5. On the class 5, you will design a flyer and a poster. Mostly a flyer and a poster are look similar. Flyers mostly are small and posters mostly are the big sizes. So the difference is just like the printing size, but mostly the ideas of designing the same uh, depend of what you're targeting. So on this video, we will be cover the draw tab, uh, the view and the review tab. So I'm going to go to the Microsoft Word. If you go to the Microsoft Word. Now, the first thing I will discuss is a draw tab. As discussed on the preview, mostly on your Microsoft Word, you're not going to view this tab. So in order for you to view it, you need to go to File and go to Option and go to Customer Ribbon. You look for the Draw table. But if I click here and I will see it, say, say OK. So you can view the Draw tab. And the Draw tab allows to draw anything. I just need to go here. And these are the pen, so you can choose any pen, pencil, anything you want. You can add something like if I want a pencil, I'll choose a pencil. Um, if I want uh, a pen, I'll choose a pen. And if I want uh, a highlight, I will add a highlight. Now, if you choose one of these, you see there's a small arrow down there. Click here and then choose the color you want to draw or then choose the size. I can choose this size and then choose the yellow color and I can draw anything I want to do. So hold your mouse, uh, your left key and then start dragging to draw anything you want to do. If you have a digital pen, it may be more beneficial to use because you can draw like the way you draw in the notebook. But unfortunately, if you're using a mouse, you need to control your mouse when you draw like I can draw my, I can write my name or I can draw maybe a car, so you can draw anything. I'll go here to eraser, click the eraser, and then delete what you don't like. Click twice, tw twice on each let it's drawing, and then now you move it. Uh, you take the draw, I can go change like this one to the pencil, and I'm gonna put a small one and put maybe a red. I'm gonna do like a house. I'm gonna take this and then draw maybe a plan you can tell a story to someone especially when you're giving a courses um, you can do whatever you want to do so if you're good on drawing and this is a good tool for doing any drawing follow up it's a, a ink to shape now ink to shape you first click to click a pencil and click to ink to shape and go drawing when you finish it's gonna give you a shape I'll click here click the shape and then I'll draw Click the pencil and then click the shape and then come draw it's gonna give me like a rectangular. Okay, now that's an ink to shape. It allowed you to create a shape like this. You can create shape your own shape. You will see this is not the, this will become a shape. This is become like a shape. You can create shape by this one. Uh, follow up with ink to mat. So if I wanna create the ink to mat, I'm gonna delete this old shape. So if I ink to mark, so what the ink to mark does, it's gonna give me if I tap click like this, if I wanna write math, I'm gonna write here. Automatically the system will change my way to uh, to a normal letter. Like I can say I want to write like uh, like this, and the system will pick it up and to give me letter. I'm gonna say plus maybe S plus. So you can write like this and when you finish and you insert this in your keyboard in your and it's for to mathematics. So that's what you can do mathematics if you do my own. Let's say when I use the your your end your own end watching. So you can come and use the ink mat. I uh, can do something like this B. If I don't like it, take a razor and then remove it. And if I write a lot, I take a, a right and a right uh, B. 
placer, place, et, and it, if I don't want all of them, I can clear entire things. Uh, select the content. If I can, I can take a, a writer and then writing something like this. And then if I take a select and select everything, that is select everything. So if you don't like clear and then close, that's the purpose of ink to mud. And drawing and cover. So drawing cover, what the drawing cover? Um, if you say, let's say I want to create a, uh, a different ink shape. Uh, ink shape so I can create a drawing cover so I will have an area in which I will draw inside and then I'll go draw anything here inside I can do maybe I can highlight and then I'm also gonna go draw maybe another thing I'm gonna go choose another maybe pen I'm gonna choose the pencil so now that's what you can do. So rather than I can move, I can move all of them at the same time. Like it's in one group. So group them. Because if I draw one by one, in order for me to copy them, I need to click uh, one by one. But from here, I can insert everything, copy and move it or minimize everything, resize them on my own size at the same time. So it's group all your drawing. That's a purpose for I other nice thing of uh, draw tape is that it's good for signing like when you finish your document mostly what I can do I will come take a pen and then I'll come here choose a little bit bigger and then make it a color maybe black I can just go to my insert and draw the nice shape with the one done already and just cast me I draw my shape like this and I'll go back to draw and then I can take a pencil or a pen and then sign it now that's a benefit you can sign your document put back the third and then I can put the signature in my document okay it's too big so what I can do I'm gonna change the size of my do my, thick, my thickness I will choose a small one here and then draw any signature I want now from here I'm gonna put back back the pencil and then you can minimize the size of your signature so you don't need to print a document in order for to sign a document you can sign a document via a drawing or if you have a digital pen you can use a nice drawing and that's a benefit of also for draw I'm gonna go to view tab now on a view tab what is a view tab a view tab is mostly when you want to view things uh, on your computer how do you want to view document like Currently, I um, view everything on the printing mode. If I want to change the read mode, I will go to read mode. And now I'm in the read mode. I can jump to the page. I can go to the first page. And if I want to go back, you will see on the bottom here, on your zoom, and then click the print layout, and you will go to print layout. So I can change to view layout, web layout, and then print layout or read mode. And that's what you can do for the first one. And we'll go back to print layout. Uh, I can also put the outlet. And then I'll go back to view. Okay, I'll go back to print mode. And we'll go back to view. And I can also put on a draft mode. Or go back to print layout. And the other one is a, is a reading tool. So what the reading tool will highlight like this. And then you click learn reading. On learn reading, you actually, it's really good when you're giving training or everything, you can create a specific way of training. I can say, I want you to focus on the on the model. So it now show me everything on the model. Or I can change the page color, I can choose color. And then whenever this thing is read, it's not change. I can say, mostly you use this when you are uh, giving the classes or you want the focus area and then you will use this one so I'm gonna go to read and this thing can read for me processes such as signaling and self-sustaining processes from those that do not either because such functions have ceased they have died or because they never had such functions and are classified as inanimate so if I put pause here, it's go pause, and I can also increase the speed of my reading. So you, if you don't want to read the word, 
So you can let the Microsoft read for you if you are lazy. Sorry, if you don't want to read, you want to listening. So the Microsoft will have an option to read. So I can minimize the speed if it's too fast. Inanimate. Q W D J M D S J H J K N F. Yeah, I'm gonna increase. S J K H N F A D J K H F D J K. Please. Now it's very fast. So you can balance the speed here. So that's a reading, uh, read louder and louder. And then um, this is just a text focus or focus or text spacing or uh, the coloring. And that's what you get on a column view on narrow or view on narrow on moderate on wide. So mostly if you're giving a, a learning you can change your view on learning mode I can close here and go back to normal printing layout go back to view I can also change like currently our page in the vertical if I change it on uh, horizontally you will see I will have two pages like this I can display let me put back to vertically way and this one we do have a rule already if I don't want to view this ruler I will come here click here and disappear I'll click here or view the ruler we can also view the grid line. So the grid line allowed me to, whenever, especially when drawing a drawing, uh, I can get a specific measurement. As we go to a ruler on top, I can check my ruler here. Uh, from this point to this point here, I can see how much distance I move by look at the grid line allowing me and also look at the ruler on top. And also the grid line shows me where my line is falling. So that's a benefit for grid line, especially when doing something, it's going to be accurate to put a measurement. Navigation pan, if I click here, it's mostly nice when dealing with a lot of pages. Let's say I got 100 pages. Like currently, I only have two pages. I will tap something here. I will tap something. So at the moment, if I want to go to another page, it's very easy because I only have a few pages. I can drag or I can just leave. But Having a navigation page, it's nice because if I click page, I can go to page 3 at the same time. I can go to page 4 at the same time. I can go to page 1 at the same time. That's a benefit for navigation page. And the other thing, the result, I can set something like a title. Like I only have one word. Like let me put two on here, BN. So if I say I want to find, I'm going to go back to page 1. I say find BN for me. And there's no fun for me in that page. Uh, and the heading. So I can call maybe each page have a heading. I can say this heading is called uh, color. And then on this heading is called um, red. So I can say search for me. I'm going to go to page one. Search for me the page that have a heading, the header with. The header called red. And you gonna find it. Now that's a benefit for, for navigation pan. I'll close it. Uh, follow up, it's a zoom. So if I click here, I can zoom bigger or zoom smaller. The same thing, you can zoom from here up or smaller. So you can see properly what you're tapping. Sometimes it looks small. I can't even see it's very far to read here. So I have to increase 200%. Or I can just come from here and zoom from here. Choose maybe 200 and say OK. I can change the view of my page. I want to view one page at the same time. I want to view multi page. And I want to view a page with. That's what you can do. Uh, view windows. I can click this and open the same page of a new window. The same page I've got now. 2 and 2.2 2. so the same page if i minimize here i save the one again now that's a view window arrange all the page if i click here i can arrange all the pay all the microsoft word that opening like if i click here okay so what is arrange i can open these two document and also open these two microsoft word so I want to arrange this document on the way. So if I come here, I say arrange all, and then I can arrange all of them. Can you see? I can see the both document at the same time. This is another document, and this is 
another document. So that's a benefit of arranging and split. Split mostly you're dealing with one page. Uh, let's say I want to copy something from this page to page four. Now I have to drag like this until, like if I do like this, I'll copy this word. And I'll drag, drag down and then come copy and then go back. That's too much waste time. So I can still do like this. Where I want to copy, I'll click my cursor down here and then split from here. Now this is the remain and then I, from here I can go to page 8 to the last page on the bottom. And then from here I can still view the same stuff. So I'll copy this thing here and then paste it on page 5 here. It's made easy for me. I don't need to drag. So I can copy as much. So I have like split the same document twice. So I can view it twice and do work twice. Like I'm working for one chapter here. I'm, I can work on one chapter here. I'm busy working here. And then I want to put go to 10 page to last page where I put my reference. I can say my reference will be here. So page one, I can say page one, maybe uh, reference one. So where I'm in the, in the page one, I'm busy working. And then on the page eight, I'm putting my reference, maybe book, whatever. That's a benefit for uh, split. So remove the split. View slider show. From here, I can... I can view this document like a slider show. I can say I want to view this document. I can I can view, I can all arrange all. Or I can reset a window position. I can view on a slider show. And I can just put this maximize so that this to remove so only when i put a slider show i can view all of them i can see when i also view this one now i have viewed this two. now from here i have extra one i can say now i want to view the other one arrange all i can view all the three document are open but if i'm not happy i can say view on a slider show then i have only one other one is blank now the other benefit of here it is switch so from here i can switch to another document I got 2.1, I can switch to 2.2, there's a 2.2 document. So I can be there by view and go to another document without minimizing, that's a benefit. Now lastly here, yeah, this is called a macro and then property. Property, it's actually take you back to uh, backstage where you can deal about the property of your microsoft word okay um macro a macro is a series of steps to accomplish a task which can be recorded and used in the in the future i'll copy this word and then i will put it here i'll create a macro record let's highlight i'm gonna go to record when i click record and i give it a name I say okay now if you look at on my case i got something like a tap can you see my case a tap so everything i will do now here like if i come here I highlight this and then i'm gonna go to um change the color i'll choose area black and i'll choose the color and i'll choose highlight and then when i finish i'm gonna go back to my view and then i click here and i say stop recording the macro so what the macro did it record everything i was doing so if i want to change this uh, paragraph to the same like this i'm gonna go to my macro and then go to view macro and then my macro i choose was the l and i'll say uh, run the macro and then it apply everything done on that one i'm gonna repeat over again now i want to create a macro I will highlight this. I'm gonna go to view. I'm gonna click the macro. I'm gonna click record the macro. Bob, I'll call the name Bob, and I say okay. So now everything I'm doing now here, like when I apply the format, I can change this to term new Roman, and then I can change this uh, to sentence. 
Now everything I'm tapping the macro is the recording and I'm gonna go back to view and go to my macro and then it says stop recording. Click here and then stop recording. So if when I come and say pause, which means stop, I can stop continue getting the format, but I say stop recording, it's finished. And that macro is created. So I'm gonna open a file, a new document, and that macro it remain in my computer. So I will tap here. This is came with your own sizes. So if I highlight this, I'm gonna go to a macro view a macro and view all the macro on this computer i go to macro bob and i say run it and then to apply all the settings we did set as if i if i go to here this would apply except the color didn't appear but i did apply italic bold and time new Roman. and the same thing with a new year i also got italic bold and then time new Roman. now one last thing which you understand to macro is that if i go to view I can create a new macro, say uh, view record a macro, but this record I will come here and I say I don't want to use a button, I want to use shortcut. Go on your keyboard and then press control of any letter you want up to you. I will press control with number two. So I release and I say assign. Can you see I press control plus number two? I say assign. Now close. Now that is created, I'm going to record and I'm going to go to home. I'm going to change this text to, to this format and I remove the italic and I put more bigger size. Now whenever, then I'm going to go to view, I'll go to macro and I'll say stop recording. Now, and I'll tap something. Now I'm tapping the way, tapping finish. And I want this word to have the same size as this one. I will highlight on our macro we did create a shortcut which was control plus two. I press control my key button and two automatically this format apply on this word. And that's a benefit. And if you don't like any macro here, you can come here, click it, and then delete it. Delete and it's good. I can also come here and say create a macro. And then I will give it a name. And I say create. Now that macro is created. But now once you create this macro, it's going to take you to uh, Microsoft Visual Basic and Application. So here you must know coding, which is more complicated. So that's why that must grab the courses is to use this highlight and then go to macro and then record your own one. And then you can use a shortcut, you can use a shortcut. I went online and then uh, get this flyer. So we we'll design this flyer in Microsoft Word project of this video. So firstly, I will leave this one here. I'm gonna go to file and create a new document. Now, if you look at most of flyers are designed in a five, a six. Um, if the poster, we can go as much bigger, maybe uh, a zero, a two, a one, everything. Uh, but because it's a flyer, we're going to have to consider small sizes, which is we're going to use the A5 or A6. So I'm going to go first to my new document. I'm going to um, add a view. I'm going to switch to a new document, 6. And then we're going to change our size of our document. We've got layout and then change the size to A5. If you don't have A5 sizes here, we're going to go to more page and nothing. We go online. And then tap, uh, just tap even A5, A5 size. So the A5 size, it's 148 by 210 millimeter. So we're gonna go, you also got an inch, 5.8 by 8.3 inch. So I'm gonna go back to my Microsoft Word. And then from here, we were here on layout and then sizes. And then go, it don't have a five more, and then we're gonna put okay, our height 14.8 and then centimeter. So this must be 21 centimeter, and then say okay. Now that's the a five. Now we make sure always make sure before you start, if you make a mistake, 
Go back and go to more paper and check 14.8 by 21 centimeter. And that's F5. So from here we can go. So I'm gonna draw the one shape and this another shape again. And this is another small shape and this is another shape here. So this is and this shape and this can even be one shape. So I have one shape, second, and then third shape, and then fourth shape. So let's do first this one. Sometimes I prefer to do like this. I can go back to this document, copy this image, and then we switch to six document, and then we go and we'll paste it. Now let's do one by one. So I'm gonna minimize this size, and then I'm gonna go to insert. Now look at the shape, and then I'm gonna draw it like this. Now on a triangular shape, the color will choose the color as this, what they use. Uh, they actually use something like this. So if you click here and then go to edit shape, from edit shape and then you can modify this shape to that particular form. Then we have this form. We drag it. With the first second form we have uh, we can also use a triangular, a triangular. So I'm gonna go to insert. I use a triangular. So on the triangular, I will do like this. We have uh, this, and then we have something like this. And this is a black color. Now, a team is taking too much because he must, he must maximize this. So how do I fix it? I'm going to fix it like this. I'm going to go to format shape, edit point. So we'll fix it like this, then finish. And then there have this. So and another way, this is must go a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a deep point. That's what they have here. So we're gonna have this. I'm gonna so can just use triangle for this. I'm gonna go to triangular at a square of this. Now on the square, you're gonna have two. Edit the point. So I'm gonna send this picture format in front way, bring in front way. So we we'll move a little bit top. So I just now copy this, copy the black, and then paste it, and then we're gonna have this. So it's actually is some way like this. And then, and it's not so big, so I'm gonna go to format shape. So that shows that doing a, a flyer, it's a design, it's much easier now in Microsoft Word. Now we have this form, and then this color, it's white. I'm gonna go change this color, the fill color, it's put white. And then I'm gonna bring this a little bit down. Now we have the form that we want, except my gap in the blow is too much. So I'm so can turn a little bit. So for we have the view and turn this a little bit. It's complicated, and we go to format edit. So we're gonna put this. Now put this too small. So this is too small. We just gonna set a, a triangular, a triangular, and then we do on top. Um, they are like this. So we're gonna have to use a digit shape. Uh, 
and I'm not going to put it a color like this. If it is no color here, I'm not going to fall. That's a little bit. I'm going to go to move. Something like this. And then you remove the line, no outline. Copy this. And then you just paste it. And you want to show you the top one. Now that's what we have so far. Now we finished that and we're gonna put this. Actually, what you're gonna do on this one, you can look something with one, two, three, four, five. Five point. I'm not going to insert. Look any shape that a five point, but it's gonna be a diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this one a five point. So this will be a nice one for our drawing. So how are you going to fix it? So the first thing, let me put this a little bit. We need to, on the bottom side, on the bottom side, we have something like this. And then on top side, I'm going to bring this far away. Front, um, do we do have so we're gonna fix this point. I'm gonna go to format shape, edit shape. We're gonna put it like this. I have to add a, add a point here. I mean minimize face here, this must be straight. And also, okay, this must be a little bit like this. So what I would do, go to right click and click, make sure it's all on the editing mode, and right click somewhere here and add a point. Now the new point will give us this form here, and then we're gonna have this, and then we're gonna have this yeah that's okay this point must at the point must go a little bit up something like this but this is too far so we most at we almost at the end so the only thing I need to do to make this straight. So now we can change this color too. And then you move the outer line. But a little bit too red. Now we have a form of our flyer. Now I'm going to group all this flyer just to have got confusion. So I'm going to select a pan. I'm going to go to uh, 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 select a pan and I click this image and I will say first hard for me this image because just use example. I'm going to click all the shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and then group them so I can move them at the same time. That's a benefit for grouping. Now it's become like one item. Now the only thing I can fix here is to increase this white here. Okay, minimize this, and then I need to go change this. Okay, now we have our form. Let's display this. So what we would need is the image, but the image not gonna have a background. Okay, we we'll hide this. Okay, I'm gonna look for any image. I'm just gonna set my own image. I'm gonna go to um, insert. I take it in my computer. I got this image. I'm gonna go to say in front. If you look at this image, it does not have a background. 
but on my image which I said it's got a background but you can still remove the background in Microsoft Word which is a little bit not professionally compared to program like Photoshop but I will try I'll click my image and then go to format and then go to background remove then this is what you're gonna have I'm gonna use this It's going to be difficult. You can remove the background in Microsoft Word, but it's going to not going to get accurate. In my case, I can use a Photoshop. I can go to my Photoshop, Photoshop to remove the background. I'm going to open that image. Okay, so this is a Photoshop, and you have to watch a video of Photoshop. So from here, I can be able to remove this background easily because I do have tools that allowed me to remove a background easily. Okay, um, go come back. So I went to Photoshop. I went to Photoshop. I didn't do. I just remove quickly, but not properly done. So I'm gonna come paste that image that I went to Photoshop. Um, I remove this background of Photoshop. Not properly done, but if you do it, if you if you take time in Photoshop, you can remove nicely. Like you see, this place look dirty, which is uh, to save time. Just to give example. Now, what now? When I bring this image, you will see this image cannot it's gonna be on top of the image if you look at design this image shows that the back side so what I need to do I need to group the group so that I can fit inside the group it must be part of the group of the shapes so I'm gonna minimize first I'll click away now what I'll do now here I'm gonna go first to uh, the group select the group and right click and then group and then and group it now everything is a group now I will move here. Now what I need now, this image must be at the back of these two shapes. Click this shape. The image, this name for this image, it's a picture 12. So, and then this one, it's triangular. So triangular must be, okay, first, this one, a triangular six must be on top here. Now he can be at the back, but this one must move. Okay, triangular three must also be on top of all of them. Then I'm able to move this image at the back side. So I may move. Um, this one also must be on top of all of them because now it's at the back. I say go on top, hold and drag on top. Now our display must just bring it here. Now we finish by the image, so I can increase my image. Now uh, you need to get a nice images to put here. So then what you need to do, the remaining part, you just tap it. So what the best thing. But before you go further, I can highlight this image. And then I must group everything to avoid confusion. So what do you do? Select from here. Right click all the shape. Right click. I can come here. Right click. Select. 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 But I don't want picture this to be part of them picture 2 12 and then I'm gonna go right click I'm gonna come here right click and group them now all of them become one in except picture 2 which is which is the one we're using for example I can move this picture 2 on top of the group move it now we have all of them one now when they are all together it's much easier for me. I can tap anything without getting confusing because when they like separate, it's gonna be difficult for you to work. Now it's free, it looks like a template. Then I can go inside my text box. Set in text box and uh, move your text box, wrap it so it can move easily. And once you wrap it, you put it on top here. And then remove now you can tap now let's see our design what inside i'm going to display picture two 
Let's go see. So they say face is the logo of the company and then the name of the company. So what I'll do now here, let's say at top I'm speaking about African Convention or AYI. I put African Convention. And then I'll move here. From here, I'm gonna go to format and then I remove all uh, this just replace for this one. And I'll choose maybe any category here of nice design here. It's up to you. And go to home and make it a little bit bigger. And this is the name of African if invention. And then I need a logo. I'm gonna go to insert. Look for a logo for AYI logo. I'm gonna go to picture. I'm gonna go to my, I think I got it here, logo, logo. And take the mine logo for AYI. And the logo come in black, so I just need to move the background. Now that's why I say, uh, let me put this image on top. I can just click the group. Sometimes you can zoom so you can see properly, group. I want this image on top. It's complicated, I can just use from here, wrap it on top. Now it's not going to match on top. I'm gonna bring this logo here. Minimize the logo for AYI. Then I have a logo here. And what else? Let's see the picture too, what they ask us. And then business flyer template. So from here, I can just write something else maybe or discussing about uh, Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna go to insert. I can just display this, copy this text box. I'll copy and then I'll paste it. And then I'll just now have word course. Word processor course. Or maybe class or course. Um, then change another one to any one. Now that's what you're gonna do for the remaining part. Maybe change this another. Here you can change the size. And then here yeah, I can explain about the classes. Class one, what will do on class one? I can come here, tap here. So you can do a nice flyer. But first, always look at online and then to see what um, I can say, what to do. I can say class, class one, what will be class one, and then copy this. I can say uh, word processor by Emery. Low combo maybe let's something like this minimize here centralize them and then this I see there's a shape here I'll move it down I can say this class one what expression of class one and class two so I can say on class one enter and just maximize this you can see class one you see formatting, I'm gonna talk, discuss about formatting, document, and the project, class two, is creating table maybe, and so on, so on, I can, I can change this to another, maybe I change this, to normal red, I can go remove, put this normal, and then I'll come back to home, put the same color, a little bit bold, I should do the same thing here, bold, I go to format, home, well, now I can do like this, and then I can also copy this, paste, I'm gonna say class three. Uh, you continue, I can say word processor, or I can say maybe online courses. Online word processor course by email. Yeah, something like this. 
Then let's look at you what they decide to say here. For I can on this side, what they trying to say if I move this thing now here, we can talk about I can copy this text box and copy maybe I, I because it's a flyer about the course I'm designing maybe. So on here I will discuss about the benefit. What to a certain benefit I can say what will you benefit on these courses? At the same time copy this and paste on the bottom here and then put the information yeah i will write here okay i think from here you can delete this uh, i believe you watch video three you can insert other stuff i can come here and then from here i can how many classes maybe there will be five classes four five benefit uh what will benefit on the course i did it i can speak about the benefit here yeah, you can get a skill uh on what way can you work administration skill tapping skill everything now that's what you can do here yeah. we can go remove all this format Uh, we can put timing here or date here. I'm gonna say which date and the time, what time will be online. Put a time and then sometime on the bottom here, we can also add a shape, copy and paste. On the bottom here, we can come add here how to book on this one. You can book on www. Uh, do AYI dot Z R. So if you go to AYI, um, you can book there, book your classes online. You can say book your class. Now this is how you can do a flyer. Okay, it's just example. Once you do your own flyer, you can make more fantasy or everything. But you can see as example if I display the example we're using. Picture two, picture two. Now this example we use when you copy, they talk about this template and they put the symbol. You can also put symbol, this, like a telephone, address, everything. So in our case, if we go to back to, we switch, switch back to, to flyer. So we can, we can insert as discussed in video uh, two and then three and five. We can go in set icons like for communication. I'm gonna set if it's like this, I will bring it on top. Okay, sometimes you can just wrap it from wrap, click wrap and put on top, it's gonna come on top. Minimize. Yeah, I can also tap address here, everything. Now, this is how you create a nice flyer. So, what you do, you go online, you copy the ideas, always not copy and paste, but you're going to get a nice style, or a nice ideas, and modify it to your own way. Um, the reason why I did something similar to this, let's say you're working for a company, a customer may ask to do something as is. And if you look at here, the gap are not the same with what I did. If you look at my gap and some of these are slightly changed, but uh, straightforward, the same ideas as the way they did here. But on your weight, it will change to your own weight. So if you look at them, it's, this is more closer like this one here. So you, uh, I can maximize like this to get and then, yeah, so, but... The most important here is to understand if you get a customer that give you an order as maybe working the company like a designer and then he expects something to be the way he gives you. So this is how you follow. You copy, uh, you look at example and start designing the way is it. I uh, believe you understand you can do anything. The same method I used to design a flyer, the same word design a poster. The difference between poster and flyer is that the flyer are mostly the small.
a small paper that composed of information you want to give to people that customers to let them know what is happening or what you're selling or product everything but the poster it's once you design I can design something similar to this one but with a big size and it will stick it somewhere and remain there forever I can have a poster flyer like this and create a big maybe a a zero size and stick it maybe some way people passing at a poster but a flyer i will hand it in the people hand and give them thanks so much for watching this video i believe you enjoy and then you understand everything you did for more information please visit ayi visit www.ayi.co.za or visit www.africanyouthinvention to watch more of our design videos so we got uh, um more of our videos and then you enjoy it the pain i felt is painful all is said and done oh.